Hey guys, what's up? Dingo Crikey here with another Transformers commentary video. This one is going to be the second Takara vs Hasbro video for the Titans Return line, comparing the Titans Return figures to their Takara counterparts in the Transformers Legends line. This commentary is going to cover five figures along with their Takara counterparts and all. You can drop down to the description if you want to see what figures are discussed at what times, if you're just interested in commentary on certain ones or just seeing certain comparisons. If you're looking for certain characters that aren't discussed here. I'll leave a link to my part one of the Titans Return to Car vs. Hasbro comparisons and a list of which figures I discuss in this video. This is of course going to be a side-by-side -side image comparison showing official Takara and Hasbro images as they're necessary to go along with the audio of this video and the commentary in this is going to be overall objective but I'll give my personal opinions real quick at the end of each comparison. Anyways we have Takara on the left this time and Hasbro on the right. And we're going to start this time with Legends Class Rewind. Now initially looking at these two guys robot modes, they don't look all too different, but if you take a closer look they do have a lot of subtle differences. For example, at a first glance I thought the chest looked identical, but if you take a closer look you can see the placement of the Autobot symbol is different. And then in the lower torso, whereas the Hasbro one is pretty much all black, we do have some light grey details in the Legends version. The shoulders are pretty close, but even there we can see there's a little bit more red on the Hasbro version. And then on the lower arms we can see Hasbro's are entirely grey, and uh, Takara's are pretty much the same, but we do have a little bit of red paint in there. As far as the upper legs, they're identical, and the lower legs do appear to be quite different. Now, not really a matter of opinion, just something I've objectively noticed is that in regards to treads and wheels, is Takara seems to usually color, let's say, the tread different from the actual wheels inside, but in this case we have Titans Return with the tread uh, being black and the inside being silver, whereas the Legends version has the entire tread just uh, being a dark gray color. The Takara version also has some more of those red line details on the knee, and the sides of the legs appear to be painted quite differently, but we can probably talk about that better in the alternate modes. Before we get there though, talk about the heads. On the Hasbro version, we have a silver head, an orange faceplate, and a blue visor, where in the Takar version we have a head and a faceplate that are entirely grey, and for the eyes we have sort of an orange visor with then a uh, blue visor inside. Then on the first alternate mode being the device, we can see we have uh, some of the same kind of differences we had in the robot mode, some extra red tidbits on the Takara versions, some differences in the way that the details are painted, but the big difference we have here is the screen as it is uh, colored and detailed totally differently. On the Takara version we have a uh, being yellow and white with uh, all of these apps, at least that's what they look to be uh, detailed, and uh, then on the Hasbro version we have it just being like grey and red and we have an Autobot symbol in there instead of all those uh, little logos. And the tank differences pretty much follow suit except we have the screen covered now and uh, we can see the treads. For me it's kind of a toss up, overall I think both of these guys look really cool for me, they have some personal pros and cons, for example on the Takara one. I think the really bright screen with all that yellow and white kind of throws off the black and red uh, sort of dark look to him. And then with the way the head sculpt is painted, it uh, looks pretty bland, and then we just have it all crammed in on the eyes. It's just a little bit too much going on there for me. However, when I look at the Hasbro one, I do kind of miss some of the additional red details on the knees and on the lower arms. So it's kind of a toss up. For me, I think Hasbro's one wins because I much prefer the head sculpt, and uh, though I do like the additional red details, I kind of like how the Hasbro one uh, keeps that darker color scheme in all of its modes. So those are just my thoughts on it. Next we move on to Legends Class Wheelie. And I don't even know where to start with these guys. I mean, well, they're both orange and that's a similarity, but when you really look at the paint and the details, they're very different on these two fellows. To put it simply, outside of the face, the Legends one has no white and its main colors are dark orange, a lighter orange, and silver. Hasbro on the other hand has all of those colors except it has a lot more white and uh, the silver stands out a little bit less in my opinion. I think the lack of white on the Takara one is really what sells the difference between these two guys as he doesn't have it on the upper legs or the lower arms. Instead he trades it off for a darker orange which gives him a huge abundance of orange. Basically anything that was white on the Hasbro figure is dark orange now. Outside of 
that, the lower legs look totally different. I almost had to do a double take to make sure it wasn't a new mold, but we do have a lot of the same colors. You know, we have the darker orange, both have the silver, even that metallic looking silver, but the silver is much more dominant on uh, Takara's lower legs, whereas in the Hasbro version, uh, dark orange is clearly the dominant color there. Some other things, the heads are painted differently, a little bit more uh, color around the face on the Takara version. Looking at the vehicle modes, we can see we have pretty much those same differences, just a lot more orange on the Takara version. Titan's Return version, we have the dark orange in the front, silver in the middle, and then a light orange to finish it off. But we also have the fact that the windshield is uh, clear on Takara's, and a very uh, dark yet still translucent color on on the Hasbro version, and it also has the Autobot symbol pasted on the windshield, whereas the Legends version uh, has it closer to the front of the car. For me, this is another really hard comparison, because since day one, I've really, really liked the looks of the Titans Return version of Wheelie, but I'm also really liking the Takara version. Now, I will say, the overabundance of orange did initially throw me off, but taking a closer look, I don't really mind the way they distribute it, and I will say maybe it's just these images, but the Takara one appears to have less of a toyish look than the Hasbro one does. Uh, I know that's a really subjective thing, might just be these images, but just looking at these, one thing I did find was curious was that I think if you were to put the Titans Return wheelie with the Legends Blur and uh, put Hasbro's Blur with Legends wheelie, they may actually look better together, just because of the way the white would balance out as opposed to having the abundance of the one color, you know, blue on the one guy and orange on the other. Anyways, just a quick thought there. Next one we have is Deluxe Class Wolfwire. I don't want to spend too long on these guys because there's a, not a whole lot to say. We do have some subtle paint differences, as you can see on the lower legs. Uh, the Hasbro one doesn't have the knees painted, whereas the Takara one does have them painted separately but it doesn't have those uh, silver details, whereas the Hasbro one does. Even on the lower arms, we can see the Hasbro one does have a, a little silver circles painted near the hands. Takara one doesn't. Little paint differences on the sword. We can see the blasters are totally different. I believe the Takara versions of uh, these deluxe class figures, at least some of them, are going to come with uh, kind of the mini bot for the little Titan figure uh, to occupy when they're not being the head, which can also uh, turn into their weapons, as opposed to the Hasbro versions, which are just going to basically carry uh, standard blasters. Then we can see their uh, head sculpts are actually uh, quite different as well, more of a rounded shape to the Titans Return one. Uh, Takar one's a lot more blocky looking. Even the face themselves kind of painted the same way, but uh, a different look to the faces. There are some subtle differences in the beast mode. If you look at the body, uh, the Hasbro one does have a little bit more paint. At the joints that connect the feet to the rest of the leg and the front feet, uh, they're orange orange on the Takara version, just left blue on Hasbro's. Not a whole lot to say about these guys. I would go with the Hasbro one just because it looks a little bit more colored to me, and the head sculpt's a lot more unique looking, in my opinion. It also kind of characterizes Weird Wolf a bit better, at least some of the artwork I remembered of the character. Anyways, next we move on to the leader class figure, and that is Blaster. As for the robot modes, I think the main differences can be categorized in A, all of the light gray areas on the Hasbro version are colored in a dark gray in the Takara one, and pretty much the whole lower bodies are different. As far as the upper bodies go, they look pretty much identical. We do have some light blue in the visor in the Takara one, and then we do have uh, that handle piece being colored darker gray, of course, but let's just focus on the legs. As on the Hasbro one, we have the upper legs being colored black, the lower ones a light gray, and the feet being generally colored light gray as well. On the Takara one, upper legs, lower legs, and feet are all generally colored dark gray. Of course, we do have the details on both versions' lower legs, which are colored in a completely different way on both versions. You know, we have silver on uh, the Takara one's knees, and uh, also circling around the speakers on the Hasbro version. The knees aren't painted separately, but we do have a few little details being thrown in there. And on the feet, on the Takara one, we have them being dark gray and silver. On Hasbro's one, 
one, they're light gray and black. So the colors on this guy really make for some huge differences. Let's take a look at the alternate modes where uh, they seem even more abundant. In the boombox mode, it basically boils down to the light gray, dark gray differences, though we do have uh, some little blue details on the Takar version. Those blue details do carry over to uh, the base mode, as do the gray differences, but we can also see we have a lot of the black bits on the Hasbro version being colored white in the Takar version. Uh, the turrets near the top, uh, even the details on the side. If you look at the core where the shoulders of the robot were, we can also see uh, the Hasbro version has some additional yellow paint. In general, we can see on the Hasbro version we have a lot of red on the hinges, where on the Takar one we have a lot of blue. Probably a few more differences, but I think that sums it up. For me, the Dakar one really wins out in this case. The Hasbro one always looked okay, it still looks pretty cool to me, but the dark gray really sells this mold, especially in the robot modes, and I think it might also have something to do with the fact that uh, this, once again, is uh, another very subjective thing, but I really don't like the looks of the light gray plastic in the Hasbro version. I don't know if anyone else is seeing it, uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, let's get to the last comparison, and that is... Titan Class Fortress Maximus. This is another one of these cases where I don't know where to start. When you look at them, it's like both look similar, but they look really different at the same time, but they're similar. I guess we'll start at the legs. If you look in the Takara version, the feet are entirely blue. In the Hasbro version, they're blue, but then they have some silver, red, and uh, sort of aqua blue details as well. Lower legs of the Takara version are almost entirely gray with the turrets on the front being colored red, and we have a little bit of white in there, and then some pieces on the back of the legs being colored red. On the Hasbro version, we have not only the turrets themselves being red, but also some of the details around that. We can see on the parts that will become the ramps in the alternate mode, we have arrow details on uh, the Hasbro version, and we have blue on the back of the lower leg. In both the knees and the elbows, we can see the joints are painted black in Hasbro's version and uh, simply blue on Takara's. Other than that, the legs and the waist are uh, pretty similar, except for the fact the Hasbro one once again just has a uh, way more details. If we look at the core of the body, we can see the colors are almost entirely different looking. For one, the waist is pretty much all blue on the Hasbro version with, you know, some details in there, but on the Takara version, we still have the same amount of details but we have the outside parts of the waist being colored white and the middle being blue. In my opinion, that kind of gives him a bit of a slimmer look to his body. They do share some gray on the right side of the chest, but other than that, the Takara one has white in the middle of the chest. The cage is left uh, blue on the Takara one, whereas on the Hasbro one, it's green, which uh, really seems to contrast against the rest of the figure. If you look at the heads and the arms, I think they look more similar, but you can't even see in the heads we do have some differences. For example, the horns are blue on the Takara one, and they're gray on Hasbro's. I do want to make mention that I believe the Takara one is going to come with Fortress Maximus's traditional sword. I'm not 100% sure about this, I'm not sure if it's been revealed yet, but a lot of people think that's going to be the case, whereas unless there's some last minute change, it does not seem to be the case with the Hasbro version. I'm going to go through these alternate modes kind of quickly to keep the video under the 14 minute mark, but even in these modes you can see there are some pretty key differences. The whole core of this base mode looks like it's colored entirely differently, a lot more gray and white on the car version, whereas we have a lot more blue on the Hasbro version, just to speak of some of the differences. We can also see the ramps are entirely white on Takara's, whereas they're painted gray on Hasbro's, and obviously uh, have those arrow markers as well. Also want to make note of the fact that while I don't think we have official images of Takara's Cerebros, we can see, I believe that's him connected to uh, the top of the fortress, and you can see there are some differences there. You can get a better look at them uh, in the spaceship mode, and you can also see some more Fortress Maximus's uh, differences. I think the more I look at these images, the more I'm noticing these guys have like a totally different look to them. Overall, personally, I do think I prefer Takara's in this case. Mainly, I like the colors. I kind of like the balancing out of them a little bit better, you know, just the placement, that kind of stuff. It looks like they kept the shades a little bit more 
more under control, uh, maybe some of the colors a little bit more muted as well. Now, in some places I can see the Takar one looking a little bit bland, in particular in the lower legs and in the feet, but while I do kind of like the way Hasbro has more paint applications in their one, I do feel like a lot of the colors look a little bit crowded, especially on that chest, the way they look with that light gray, I don't know, there's something when you combine a yellow and a green with that shade of gray where it just looks kind of ugly. But anyways, that's just my thoughts on it. I know a lot of people like the Hasbro one better in this case, and that's obviously fine. If you do, you can drop that off in the comment section below, along with any other thoughts on this video or the figures shown in this comparison, as I'm going to wrap things up here as this uh, commentary has already gone on longer than most of them do. But hey, Fortress Maximus had to be covered, so what are you going to do? Anyways, that's all my thoughts on it. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys stick around for more Takara vs. Hasbro videos and enjoyed this one. You can of course go to my channel for more videos like this or just more Transformers content. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and have a good one, guys. I'll see you soon.